Oh, so you're the journalist. I think what our readers really want to know is whether we're any closer to finding out what happened to the terror and her crew. Do you know the meaning of the symbols on these rocks? If the sailors left cans here, it must have been for a reason. There's just something very wrong with this place. This life was explained to me through the story of Nanuruluk, the colossal bear. No paws, teeth, nor other's patience measured to its own. It walked the earth for many seasons, growing until the land was too small for its comfort. David, it's me. I didn't wake you, did I? No, I'm up. Just fixing myself a coffee. So, uh, so where are you now? I just reached the Parks Canada research ship. Freezing my ass off waiting for Dr. Gervais to come show me around the boat. It's minus 15 here, more like minus 20 with the wind chilling. Yeah, I didn't send you there to report the weather, Tana. <sighs> Did you get a chance to read over the documents I sent? Yes, sir. Got it all in my backpack in case I need a quick refresher. But as of 4 a.m. this morning, I'm a full-fledged expert on the Franklin Expedition. Ready to turn it all into a great story. So long as I don't pass out in the middle of the interview. Damn it, Dana. I thought I told you to get a good night's rest. That was the plan until my connecting flight was delayed for eight hours. But at least it gave me plenty of time to get my mind off that weird dream. Can you please just focus for a couple of days? I don't want to regret giving you this opportunity. Uh-oh. Sounds like someone needs to finish his coffee. 
Well, can't stand around all day chit-chatting, David. Some of us have work to do. Hello? Hello? I have an appointment with Mr. Gervais. Alan? Oh, so you're the journalist. How long were you planning on loitering outside? You want to freeze to death or come aboard? You must be Alan Gervais. I'm Tyna Hippolyte. I've... Tyna, I can't wait to catch up, but my hands are full right now. Why don't you take a look around, try not to touch anything, and we'll get acquainted later, yes? I just wanted to ask if you... Fantastic. I'm Tana from The Discoverer. Mind if I ask a few questions? I understand you've made some interesting discoveries. <laughs> interesting would be an understatement. This stuff is groundbreaking. Uh, where do I even begin? I think what our readers really want to know is whether we're any closer to finding out what happened to the Terror and her crew. We've still got a lot of work to do to figure that out. Work, Jeffrey. You remember the concept? Sorry, no time to chat, but have a look at what we already pulled out today. Might be interesting. Now what's a nice ship like the HMS Terror doing in a place like this? Uh, you know, we're not completely surprised by where it ended up. We knew the Terra had been stuck in the ice with the Erebus, about a hundred kilometers north of here. I read about that. That's where things really started to go wrong for the Franklin expedition, right? Right. And since the Erebus was found further south in 2014, we figured the Terra would be somewhere between those two points. Still, it was a stroke of luck that anyone found it at all, and in such good condition. It must be so exciting. Imagine all the things we could learn from this. We won't have to imagine for much longer. Hey, uh, are you gonna use any of that in your piece?
Maggie, what are you waiting for? Activate the winch. Huh? Oh, okay, I'll do it right away. But... But what? No excuses. Come on, wake up. We've all got a job to do. It's just that last time I checked, you were on winch duty. Fine, I I'm on it. Better than standing here all day arguing about who's supposed to do what anyway. These tin cans are really well preserved. We found them on a shelf in the pantry. I wouldn't crack one open, though. Let me guess. They've expired? Worse. They may have been tainted with lead from a faulty sealing process. Ah, uh, yes, I think I've read about that. You think that might have been what killed the crew? Not necessarily. From our preliminary tests, the levels of lead in the crew's bones are consistent with those of other sailors at the time. Back then, your average Brit was exposed to higher levels of lead than we are today. The joys of living through the Industrial Revolution, I guess. We'll have a toxicological analysis completed in the coming months. Then we'll know for sure. Are those the crew? It's been a long time since anyone found human remains from the Franklin expedition. This must be a landmark discovery, Dr. Gervais. Just 87 more and you'll have the full set. Indeed, it's quite the breakthrough, but as is often the case with these discoveries, these remains pose more questions than answers. Why would so many of these men have remained on the ship? They could have risked it and tried to reach the continent on foot. Instead, they just waited here to die. The expedition's not over yet. Maybe you'll find your answers. Maybe, or maybe we'll never know.
Lieutenant, a decision must be made, and made quickly if we are to have any chance of surviving. Mr. Woodruff, might I remind you that I am the last remaining officer on board? I, and I alone, will make the decisions about the crew on this ship. There are barely 30 of us left. The summer ahead looks to be as cold as the last. Sir, we must abandon the terror. Abandon the terror? Nonsense! You would be well advised to hold your tongue on such matters. Sir, I beg you, please, listen to me before it's too late. If we leave now, I'm sure we can still... The only thing you can be sure of, Woodruff, is that your next word on this will be your last. Campbell! Campbell, you worthless layabout! Hi, sir. What's the status of the cannon? In full work in order, sir. Mm. Yes, capital. Keep up the good work, lad. We'll make a sailor of you yet.
Mr. Woodruff. I need to speak with you about something I saw in Lieutenant Gore's cabin. I saw him writing in his logbook again this morning, but he seemed distressed. I was curious, so I took a look. My reading ain't so good, but... But it was nonsense, sir. The mindless ramblings of a madman, as far as I could tell. I'm worried he's beginning to crack under the pressure. I see. You've done the right thing coming to me, lad. Say for yourself, Lieutenant. Say for myself. I do not answer to you, Clark. I do not answer to any of you. Don't you see? I'm trying to help you. But you would rather follow Woodruff into an icy grave. This ship is lost, Lieutenant. No one is coming for us, but it's not too late. Come south with us. There is still a chance, but we must act now. I am still the commanding officer, Woodruff. And you're still a dirty, illiterate sailor. I say again, nobody will leave this ship. We are going to leave this ship, and we're going to live to tell the tale. Mr. Woodruff will show us the way. I'm sure of it. Listen up, lads. You too, Gore. The lieutenant here is under the impression that we're about to be rescued. I'm sad to say I don't share his optimism. Enough of your insubordination, Woodruff. I'll have you lashed if you say another word. Lashed? Who'll be doing the lashing, lieutenant? The Admiralty. Maybe one of your famous friends can help you. What? It's all here in the logbook, lads. The poor bugger's gone mad. He's gonna get us all killed. These men are still loyal to me, Woodruff. Still loyal to the Crown. Perhaps we should let the men answer for themselves, sir. Give it up, Lieutenant. From now on, we'll put our faith in the Lord, not you. It's over. The men are with me. Am I getting off this godforsaken ship? Scoundrels! Fools! He'll lead you to your graves. Crucifixes by the shore. A pile of rocks atop your bones. It's not too late, Lieutenant. You can still come with us. You? You stole an officer's property and then. Then tricked these men with your lies about my writings. How, how could you understand? How could you possibly understand? You're not thinking clearly, Lieutenant. You're... And why should these men trust a lowly wretch like you? Why? When you left England, you could barely write your own name. Listen, you daft bastard. You're not in charge anymore. You can come with us, or you can freeze to death here. You're leading these men to their deaths, Woodruff and I'll spill your blood before any of you leave this ship. Keep your hands clean, Lieutenant.
long time since anyone recovered human remains from the Franklin expedition. So this is a pretty big find, right? <laughs> I guess. Ignore him. He's just trying to seem cool in front of the big shot reporter. No, seriously, what more can we learn from a skull? I'm more interested in tools, personal effects. But it looks like this one died of something other than lead poisoning and frostbite. See? The skull is fractured. Mind if I take a closer look? sailor had a filling back in 1845. Who told you you could touch that? My guess would be an officer with a bullet in the forehead. Seems like close range. The whole thing sounds like mutiny to me.